finally hip and all they wanna do is hop on Look at me, I came up from the basement making bops now I like living south side of Miami with the top She ain't came for you Welcome to the final episode of season one of Reckless Discussions. Now, look, I know y'all don't see my family. Y'all just see me. Y'all like, where they at? I don't know, nigga. But look, this is a two part. Remember back in the day when MTV at the end of the year would have like the mashup of the best music videos? So we're going to do something like that. We compiling all the best moments of Reckless Discussions from season one. All right. Before we kick off season two. If you've been watching Reckless since the first episode, I used to have a segment called Drop a Gem. Everybody wasn't good at that. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna point out Prince. Prince sometimes would just say shit just to say it. This motherfucker ain't never really have a good gym to fucking drop. Oh, he is still part of somebody else's gym and put a little him on it. Like, nigga, think of your gyms. He remind me of LeBron. LeBron is famous for bullshitting. Run this clip. Yeah, I, I had one coach, um, and he used to say, put yourself in situations where you're not in, you're not comfortable. Oh Play yeah, that's my favorite saying. Zone. That's my favorite saying. LeBron, you know you did not. You did not ever hear that saying when that young boy said that he, he from overseas. You ain't never hear nobody say that over here. Yo said, that's my favorite saying. I live by that. That's my favorite saying. That is Prince. But sometimes we did have some good gems. Roll the best gems of the season. Honestly, I, uh, my, my personal opinion of broken a broken home I would say outside, not, not, uh, I think that for me, for me personally, um, you know, not having two parents in the household, of course, is a small portion of that. Sometimes your pain is your strength. What you went through, it may have hurt, but that's what you got your strength from to fight on and, you know, to fight. I want to meet your child or you can meet my child immediately because I might fuck with you six months and then I might not like your child. Well, I might need you to watch my child. So no, yeah, not um, at. So, to the podcast nerds, if you're new or if you just want to do the shit because you think it's just something to do and you, <laughs> this ain't really what the fuck you want to do, but you want to be popular or you want to yeah. jump on the trend, make sure you're talking about shit. I'm okay. gonna be very transparent right here, very transparent. Okay. I played so many games early on with people mm -hmm. that now I'm so, gone in my head to it's believe that karma come what you you know what i mean like everything that comes comes back around so it's like the father to be a part of a child's life and you think child support is supposed to make them be a part of a child's life that's right. the point i was trying to make we were only talking about that still the dumbest it's point too, i've that's ever not a point you can kind of say what ron was saying with it like for me it's like i done done so much fucking in my 20s and now it's like nah, all right whatever like that's when i it was it was it was a fatuation of busting a nut you get mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. now it's more so like let me get in your mind. Let me fuck your mind and make make mm. make it work better okay. for you that way. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm not around for quick fucks no more. Like, okay. we gotta oh, need to know what's going on. on. I have a gem as a woman, a natural okay. woman. Uh -huh. I just wanna say that it's okay <laughs> to be a natural self because guess what? You the one that gotta go be and face yourself at the end of the day. You're and goddamn now. right. And yeah. guess what? Like, you gotta live with those decisions. And those decisions you make in the short term will definitely impact you in the long term and you will not be happy. Absolutely. Yourself. If you want your body done, get it done the right way. Don't go in nobody hotel. You know what I'm saying? Don't go out the fucking country because y'all saying even Cardi B said they hit a main vein, bitch, because they be trying to hurry up and get their shit done. I don't think it get no greater, no yeah, better. Yeah, it's, 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 a old, it's an old saying to say, if you can accept me at my worst, you deserve me at, at my, my best. best. Yep. So changing, I'm evolving, I'm compromising, I'm changing shit about my You've been the same person. Same person. I mean, yeah, same you person. But, but see, they shit. say so, money change you, but see, this is where, this is this is this separates the broke from the non-broke because money doesn't change a person, but when you get money, you gotta change. My gym would be, it's okay to be an ex because the next is, is uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what in the car? <laughs> what in the whole car? All right, hold on, hold on. All right, oh, yeah, my gym would be <laughs> to just trust your gut and if you need to, <laughs> fucking. That brings me to my next question. Somebody ever be so contradicting and the shit that they say, and they preach it. They preach it all day long, but they don't live by it. So if y'all remember, Rome used to have this saying, and this is probably one of LeBron's favorite sayings too. Rome used to say this shit that go like, don't ever do things for the perception of others. How many times has this nigga said that? Yet he does everything for the perception of others. I swear, Rome is like Baltimore's Diddy. Like, the, and, and he, 
He, his name on Instagram is literally Romy J. He got that name because he loved Stevie J so much. He loves that mentality. He loves that, 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 that brother love, Stevie J, Romy J mentality. How many times has he said this shit? Let's roll it. So, anybody got a gym to drop? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Tell us, Mr. Player. <laughs> Not a player no more, I just crush a lot. Look, make sure, up. make sure your I gym is drop. drop. Date, <laughs> date for yourself <laughs> and not, to, not for the perception of others. Give us that again. Date for yourself and not for the perception of others. Okay. Let's say it again. If you broke, you shouldn't be worrying about no pussy. You shouldn't Thank be you. worrying about changing your motherfucking finances. Thank you. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I think that's Because why wrong? Because man. you shouldn't live for the what? To perception that ain't got of nothing others. To do that. <laughs> I'm sick of that. Listen, I'm so sick of that. You got women going to get their body done and still living with their mom. You got women gonna get their body done and behind on bills. You got women gonna get their body bills. done. Yeah, behind on bills. Mm -hmm. You got women getting their body done, still paying car payments and shit like that. Like mm -hmm. I just, I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then you, what are you doing it for? You're doing it for the perception of others. Oh yeah. There you because go. your shit is that's not. His shit. That's his your shit, shit is that's not his together. Shit. Drugs are not cool. Um, you know, so don't do them because your friends are peer pressuring you to do them, mm -hmm. and don't let nobody, you know, just don't let nobody peer pressure you into doing anything. And also, drugs. don't do it to escape. Yeah. And just like and that, we don't get the blunt wet with lip gloss and spit. And that brings it to me. But if you don't smoke, mind your damn business. <laughs> don't so. do weed, drugs, or alcohol for the perception of others. Bye, y'all. Yo, Rome is the only person I know that says that shit. He's also the only person that you probably would ever see with a bald head, a regular, and some fucking waves all in the same month. Rome has been through so many stages of life and aging during the first season. Look at that, look at that. Bad. Up, oh, but good news though. He told me that he's off child support for every child, so his hair's growing back in the middle. He got it, he wanted me to tell y'all that. So let's give, yes. Let's give it up for Rome in the patch. Let's, let's give it up, let's give it up, I like that. In the beginning, my cousin, London, was very perfect. I'm talking about perfect Patty. I've never been in any relationships, only two in my life. I've never dated, I only fucked three guys, whatever, and I'm 31 and I'm getting money and all that shit. But when that motherfucker gets some drinks up in her ass, she is not London the perfect, trust me. All bets are off. I don't care, she don't give a fuck about the perfect. She don't give a fuck about cookie cutter. She don't give a fuck about nothing. She turns into London from the hood, bitch. Roll that shit. How do you really know someone is a Christian being on there? Because just like you can catfish <laughs> online, you yeah. can catfish online. Like, I'm not gonna lie, so I, the data app that I did sign up for, of course, mm -hmm. was Christian Bangle yes. years ago, because I was like, well, nobody yeah. listens to me, yada, yada. Right. And like, the guys were weird on there versus this Facebook date, and I'm like, yeah. oh, say now, I know that ain't the Christian, the Christian that be at the pool pit. That ain't him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -mm. How was you able to tell, like, what like, weird shit were they I doing? I just, it was just, I don't know. It just they ain't look right. Like when they're like constantly like checking their phone. Oh, like, so it's like you. if we on the first date, mm -hmm. you're or in like your you know it be okay. it be the sporadic times like when the menu come or the waitress come, they hurry up looking at their phone. No, mm -hmm. don't look at it. Yeah. And you know what I'm though, I'm glad right. you said it because I, I, like I honestly have a tendency of doing that, and I really don't. Don't be, be trying. I really don't be in my phone doing yeah. shit. Like it just it's just like it's a, a natural habit, the like thing just, to do. Like well, next I do it when we out eating. You know what I mean? Like I'd be like. Well, next time I'm thinking. Because bitches Damn. like me don't like that. You read what you saw, and guess what? He lost out on me. And now he want me back, because men always come back, right? Oh, they always oh, want to, they oh, always oh, come oh, back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just, yeah. Because yeah. I bully like my brother too. Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. he to this day still is, like, has a rocky relationship because he can't get over a lot of stuff I said up to him. Yeah. But it was always out of love, because I wanted people to do better. Like, you sitting around here, your fucking legs <laughs> ashy. Put your fucking lotion on. Like, you look crazy. If you went on a date, <laughs> And the check comes, mm -hmm. and the guy say, oh shit, I, I left my wallet home. Okay. What would you do? I'm gonna say, you have um, Apple Pay or Cash App or Zao. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? You can't get away with that shit these days. Never talk to him again, blocking him. All right, I was gonna say, what would you do going forward? Blocking him, sending him a cease and desist. Okay, I got okay. a cease, cease and desist. Cease and desist. Yeah, yourself. No, I didn't. Why do you want a woman? Yeah. What do what, I need? No, I said, what do a man need a woman for? Because me, I don't live by the logic. You pay bills? So I, I don't, if you I don't, pay all the bills, would you wanna fuck with like somebody else? If would I you pay, want a woman? Are oh, you gonna always do that? So why would you want a woman? Why well, I, I want a woman for other things. Thank you. That's okay. your answer. But your not answer all men think, think like that. Yeah, when that nigga black your eye, he snatched your little ass back. He did. Really. I, I told you. Because you fucking two pieces ass too. <laughs> yeah, I did. Because he he stole my money. 
So hmm. so I came These back. Stories with it, but are crazy. And it's a day. Guess what? <laughs> what? That shit snitch. It sounded like it sounded like it sounded like yeah. y'all <laughs> abusers over this bitch. No, 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 no. Reform. That's Reform. But she made me try Molly. She made me try. Excuse Perch. me. I don't she know what she's talking about. Oh, I ain't taking none of that shit. I definitely gonna prescribe that shit. I ain't taking scrambled um, cook and What is the other one that I could have died from? your friends. It's something else I could have died from. You made me try. But but see, and she can't try one little damn shrimp. I used to definitely do a lot of people pressure back in the day and I don't advocate for drugs anymore. I mean. Wow. <laughs> So anyway, I was um, with somebody for 10 years and I wanted him to be like just a better person. Mm -hmm. And now he won't be fucking better. Nigga. They do everything now you I'm was better, talking like, about. Screaming right, about so passionate. Like, Passionate about shit. Mm -hmm. Like maybe, maybe, may, maybe you didn't bring the better out of him. They tried to do all the shit you've been complaining about. Because it's like it's something about me. So, uh, but then I had to realize if you're a clown, you're a clown. It was you. What? What the fuck y'all got to say? Because <laughs> y'all asses, oh. y'all asses ain't motherfucking bitch. I know you ain't talking about motherfucking. Oh, come on out, bitch. Come on out. Because this, this is things to be said, but I'm trying to be nice. Because you know, <laughs> I'm a changed woman. Okay. It is listen, a thing to be Listen. Preference. If you you like women yeah. with long, skinny, little yeah. dress like this, very much given, or do you want them to have long ass dresses? I like that dress though. I'm gonna tell you why I like that dress. I don't like the jump. I like that dress. I'm telling you, but you still is single, looking for a man, and getting money. So put your applications in. <laughs> so during the season, I had a lot of stories to tell. I'm a storyteller. That's what comedians do. I'm so extra. I, I gotta talk with my hands. I got it, nigga, what? You would think I'm in a fucking 90s R&B video, nigga. I move so much. So I could not leave y'all without including myself. Compilation, roll it right now, The Art of Gestures. And I'm drinking and the girl was like, I don't like that bitch right there. That's the one right there that she did it. I'm like, how old Oh, ass? I think I know what you're talking about. Ass, man. We a beat on, straight up. Like, yo, we gonna beat on shorty. Like, man, fuck her. You know what I'm saying? Like, real, real aggressive. Oh, my God. She was right there. Then she kept on looking over there, like, and she was, like, really, really Oh, she was amping up. Amping up. She was amping up. Let's oh, get that's high, high. Let's get high, all that. So I was like, all right, on the count of three, I'm gonna fuck her up. Man, I was like, one, two. I swear, like, she, <laughs> when I said three, it's like she said three with me, too. She knew <laughs> that I was going hit her, and I was like, Big, like, <laughs> damn, bitch, she was ready before me. <laughs> you expect to meet another celebrity? No, what if you fall in love with a regular girl who works at the call center? Would you date a man with a nine to five? I, I will. Okay, cool. That's oh, good. you know, that's always been me. I ain't be Simone now. I wouldn't, I ain't say that. <laughs> Sorry, B. Literally. Sorry, B. I didn't mean it. <laughs> and this is Baltimore, yeah. <laughs> and we was down here or whatever, and we was dancing or whatever, and this one thing about it, it was a whole group of guys behind us, and this girl was in a relationship, for real, and one thing about it, when she drunk, she real flirty, she get Oh my God. I dropped down to get your eagle on. I dropped down to get your eagle on. And the fucking guys was like, oh shit, shorty, what's up? And she was like, stop, y'all, I'm married. Like, like what was I giving? Don't try to talk to me like I'm married. And the guys was like, yeah, you're married to me. Out of here, let's do a bonus question. No, we're good. Right, no, we're, we're, gonna gonna anybody. Anybody. we're gonna take our win. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all don't say what it's over. Yeah. I say what it's over. come to see y'all older. Peace. Peace. Listen, anybody come see y'all older. Anybody who can name Jerome's kids from oldest to youngest will take no, the whole game. No, Ashton, no. Aaliyah, Aubrey, Bryson. Thank you. And, and you didn't say the other one. He's not born yet. He's not born yet. He's not born yet. He's not born yet. He's in the line. I'm real close to you, and I consider you fucking family, and you got this motherfucking boyfriend oh, who no. okay. say, you know, like, it's, 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 you're telling me he's controlling you, he you do everything but hit on you, and mm -hmm. that might come later. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a, he's a trained sniper, and he comes from a family of fucking lawyers, and, and I'm just so afraid, and I'm stuck because I live with him and I can't get out, but I want to get out, but I do love him, but I'm scared of what he'll do. I got kids, they fucking scared too. Mm. Let me help you, let me, let me help you, let me try. Cause bitch, you might be scared, I ain't scared. So let me help you. 
And then you fucking turn around and be like, it's going to be all right. That was true. I did get my ass whipped in the club, man. That, that Of all the stories that I told, that was the most graphic. That was the most detailed. That was the most embarrassing. Shorty whooped my ass. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. And that brings me to the end of episode 50, part one. Tell us some of your favorite moments of Reckless. Any compilations, any categories that you didn't see, that you like, submit them. We got you. Check in next week for part two. It's only up.